recording. Cool, YouTube, what's going on? Hat here, bringing you a video today going over the uh, patch 2.5 Terror Zones that Blizzard announced. Now, we're not going to go over the whole thing. Um, it's a lot of it's very minimal things. Obviously, we have a Terror Zones, which at first glance is just a way to get to 99 faster, uh, which is great. Uh, but there's a couple things, pretty much two things I want to go over that don't seem, I guess, at first glance like much, but they're actually, I feel, like they're going to change the game uh, very, very much so. So uh, let's go over that and I'll explain it in more detail. Uh, let's get into it. Cool. Uh, da -da -da -da, let me go here. Boom. All right. So uh, the two things. First things is Terror Zones, right? Um, they're cool. You know, I mean, I, we tried the PTR. There's not much to test with it, except you, you do it. You kill some mobs. Are they harder? A little bit, sure. Um, but, uh, you know, I would love to see them put a boss in these areas, right? Like, that'd be cool, whether it's... I mean, you call them, call them, you know, we have uber bosses, call them terror bosses, make it, make it a bail in there, you know, whatever, make it random, I don't know, I just think it'd be cool to also have a boss kill, a big boss kill, just to make it feel like an official run, but it's not that big a deal. Um, one thing that we, that I want to point out to is, uh, treasure level 87, right, is where anything can drop, meaning, that was an issue before, uh, only unique bosses, or only unique boss groups could drop that in level 80 what is it 83 85 areas and level 85 areas like pits and things like that now now things are different so if we is because this is based off of your character level if we are a character level 85 that means white mobs uh the blue mobs and the uh, you know uh, the boss groups um are all able at that point to drop the anything in the game um, and when that happens, we are no longer, I mean, some people will still go for clear speed, uh, but I think you can make a lot more argument at that point to start running more magic fun. Um, whereas, and, and you know, it, it is what it is. I don't know. Some people are going to say no. Some people are going to say, yeah, I get that. Um, but if you cannot, if you know, if you can't, if you can do it without losing too much clear speed, you know what I mean? I, I think we're going to find that magic fun is going to be uh, huge again. Uh, when it comes to uh, grinding, because, you know, Griffins, Death's Web, um, ins you know, Schaefer's, uh, insert whatever axles worth unique, which, by the way, they still need to redo all the uniques in the game. Like, they, need, they, they make uniques great, great again. Hashtag make uniques great again. Come on. PoE did it. They redid all their uniques, and they're pretty cool. You know? I mean, just a little bit better. Not game-breaking, but, I mean, it's, it's better. Uh, anyways. Um, so I think that that's going to be a really cool thing to see, is you're going to see a lot more magic find builds um, doing this, and at level 80, what did we say, 85 for us? Yeah. Um, that is the point in which you're going to get the maximum amount of chances for these types of top-tier unique things to drop, and I think, it's gonna, I think it's really cool. You know, I think it's really cool. Uh, these areas are all awesome. I don't see problems with most of them. Um... I'm looking for things that might have, uh, what, do you, what do you call them, the, the little stabby skeletons? I'm just, uh, I'm just looking for places that have some of that in that. Um, so far, I think it all looks good, for the most part. Which is great. Which is great. It seemed like big areas, nothing too weird. Cows is a little weird, but I think we're going to be happy with cows, right? Uh, very dense uh, area. Uh, so I'm really happy. I mean, that'll be, that'll be a lit day for everyone, you know what I mean? That's going to be a lit day. Um, the second thing that I wanted to go over that I think is a huge game changer is, let me see if I find, there's so much stuff here, um, what's it called? Uh, da, 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 da. Iron Golem. Iron Golem. When you use an item that had Iron Golem charges, and there's not many of them out there, um, your Iron Golem would only stay with you within that game. So there was really no point in spending the time to do it because you were just going to lose whatever that item is. Now, th th at least from what it says, they're going to stay with you. Like, as long as you don't take the item off, right, I assume, with the charges. Um, Metal Grid is one of those items. Also, Oath, the weapon, is another one of those items that can do that. So if you have something like Insight, right, that gives you the mana regen aura, if you're wearing a metal grid or an oath on uh, on a character, you can summon that iron golem as an insight. Now you have now you now you have a meditation aura forever, right? Uh, very cool, very cool. I wanted to test, and that that's gonna change some builds. You know what I mean? Are we gonna have a zerk barb 
that has Oath in the offhand so that he has an extra golem, you know, doing, doing, you know, king, what is it, king, king something, the, uh, the rune word? I mean, I'm just kind of drawing blanks because I'm on the spot here. We can try to take a look real quick. Um, let's see. I mean, what are some of them that it would be? Um, obedient? No. Come on, chat, help me out here so I don't look stupid. Ah, it's too late for that. Anyways, there's some good auras you can get from some stuff that are, that's still kind of cheap. That'll be really helpful for damage, you know what I mean? Um, you'll still be able to keep your Act 2 Merc auras, or even your Act 5, whatever Merc you're using, you'll still be able to keep their auras, and nothing, no effect on your Merc whatsoever, just to make them stronger with that aura. If you're a summoner, like, you know, uh, um, like a Druid summoner, right? You got something here, you know? Um... So very cool, very cool. I would love to do some testing with that. Uh, the PTR right now doesn't really give us much, I mean, they give us builds, but they don't give us stuff to make builds, you know what I mean? I checked, there's nothing with a metal grid on it, there's no way for me to make an oath, except for grinding, and I think, you know, this is a very small portion of the new patch, you know, I, th I think we're still gonna get new rune words, maybe some more quality of life stuff, this is just a lot of bug fixes, and then telling us about, uh, the torment thing, right? Um, so I think there's more to come. Uh, so I'm super excited. Uh, it's just, there's not much for me to do with the PTR right now, except do the Torment, which is on a character that doesn't get to keep the gear, keep the levels or anything, so it's eh, you know, eh for me. Uh, anyways, uh, that is some cool things that I saw. We'll, we'll talk about more stuff as it comes along. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, because I will absolutely keep you informed of more stuff when I figure it out. And if you think this was stupid, uh, maybe you're right. I don't know. I don't care about your opinion. I'm just kidding. Love you all to death. See you on the next one. Uh, peace, peace.